Hey, it's Alan Simpson. Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about exporting data from Excel out to JSON. Actually, we'll use CSV as kind of an intermediary, so it's really anything that can go to CSV to JSON. I'm going to use a relatively simple worksheet that has two columns of data. Um, the first column is bad links, that is bad links out there coming into my site. And the second column is good links, where I want to send people when that bad link comes in. I'm not going to talk about the routing and stuff, just getting these out to JSON. And I'm going to make it a keyed JSON table so we can edit data online. So I need to give each row a unique value. So I'm going to put equal row minus 1 there in cell A2 and copy that down. And that way you're sure to get a unique value for every single row starting at 1. And that's really all I need to do in terms of preparing for JSON. I'll save that, and then I'm going to export it, or actually you could use Save As. On a Mac, it's going to be Save As. And then just change the type to CSV, comma delimited. I think it says CSV UTF or something on a Mac. Just as long as it starts with CSV, you know, decide where you want to put it. I'm putting it on the desktop. Click Save, and then you can just close up the worksheet. Okay, next we'll talk about converting this CSV file to JSON format. Okay, so uh, let's head on out to the web, and I will search for Excel to JSON or CSV to JSON. If you're not using Excel, if you just have a CSV file that exported from someplace else, Either will work. And I'm going to use this one called www.convertcsv.com. It's the one I usually use. All right. And the first page under, well, we don't need any of that here. Under step one, I want to choose the file. And that's going to be that CSV file I just created on my desktop. So it's right there. Okay. And now I see what it looks like. You see row bad good are the column titles, and then there's a comma separating each field, each column of data. And that's what we need, but that's CSV format. That's not JSON. We, to get into the JSON, we've got to go down and under choose input options, first, first row is column names. That's right. Uh, I don't need to change anything else. Uh, that's all good. Step three. Uh, I just want to do the first three columns. And if, if for some reason you saw extra columns there, you could just cut those off so it's only one, two, three, or whatever n number you need. I don't really need to sort or do any of this stuff. I mean, it never hurts to trim off blank spaces, but um, I don't really have to do any of that stuff. I am using key JSON, and one is that column. All right, so down here I want to hit CSV to key JSON, and that's exactly what I have here. Keyed means you see the one is the key, then I have the bad value and the good value. Then two is the key for the second one, bad value, good value, and so forth, all the way down. Okay, so I'll download that file. goes to my Downloads folder. I think I'll copy it out to my desktop where the rest of these files are located. All right, now that's the one I can import into Firebase or whatever, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Now, this part is tricky. If you don't have any data in your Firebase database or whatever, you know, you create a brand new one, that's fine. Just go ahead and import it. For example, this comments one I'm working on, I've just been using that to play around with some stuff. It doesn't have anything serious in it, but it does have data. You can see that there. Okay. Now, if you have data in there that you want to keep, you do not want to just import this new JSON. You would have to come out here, export what you have first, so you have a copy of it, and then you can import, because whatever you import is going to overwrite what's in there already. And to show that, I'm going to go ahead and import the one I just made. Okay. And that's this uh, convert CSV JSON. When I um, warns me all data will be overwritten, and when I click open, all the previous data that was in the comments is gone, and all I have now is the stuff I just imported. 
Now, that's not a disaster if you don't mind throwing away that initial data, but if that was some important data and you're just trying to add this data as like a new node, you got to take a completely different approach. All right, so if you're doing this for a job or something and your boss says, do not lose that other data, you know, you don't want to take any chances with that. I do have one here where I have some data I want to keep. It's called hit counts. So let's say I want to add the new data to it. All right, so I go in here. I see it already has two nodes, one called bad counts, one called page counts. Basically, they count how many hits on each page and so forth. All right, I don't want to lose this, so the first thing I have to do is export it. Okay, so once I do that, I know this thing I just exported is up to the minute and good and safe, so that's precious to me. In fact, I'm going to make a copy of it because I have to monkey around with it a little to get the new data in there, and I don't want to mess up my good copy, so I'm going to paste a copy out, and I'll rename it to something like uh, new uh, with bad good data in it, all right? Something like it's clearly different from the other one. All right, and so now this one, I'll stick in the additional new data. So if I open it in VS Code, you can see the data that's in there now. I can collapse, whoops, not that much, collapse these two nodes. You can kind of see how they're organized. The whole thing starts out with an open curly and then bad counts in quotes followed by a colon and then its data in curlies and then a comma and then page counts basically follows the same pattern, but it doesn't have a comma after it because there's not another node under there. So to add another node, we just need to repeat that pattern under page counts, just like we do under, you know, do the same thing we did under bad counts. Okay, so I need a comma to say another node's coming, then the name in quotation marks, and I'll call this one bad good, and then the colon, and then the open curly and closing curly. So actually, I think those are already in the converted code. So I'm going to assume they are. Leave that out of there for now. Let me go get that uh, converted JSON file, which is this one. Yep, there are curly braces at the top and bottom, so I could just reuse those. So I'm just going to select this whole thing. Obviously, I could use Control A, but I just want to make sure you see I'm selecting the whole thing, copy it, paste it in here after this new name, and I think that should be right. Let me format it and just take a quick look. I don't see any complaints down here. Uh, it looks good. I don't see any red squiggles or anything. If I collapse this, Yep, it follows the same pattern. I think it's good. All right, so let's save that. All right, in fact, I'll close that. Uh, I don't need that one anymore either. Just get out of here completely. All right, now back at my Firebase. This is my last chance to change my mind. I could export that JSON because I'm about to wipe out what's out there when I do import JSON. And I just did that. Notice that it does warn you it's going to be overwritten, so you have no excuse. All right, so I did that with that new file, I'll import that, and looks good. You'll notice that it always puts them in alphabetical order. You don't really get to choose the order of the nodes, but it doesn't matter. I mean, this is just data. Nobody's looking at it directly. You're accessing it with code. All right, so that worked. And now I have three nodes in there, and originally it was from Excel. And now I could always just use Excel to manage these data and, you know, crank out these files as needed and upload them, though most of the time my app actually manages the data. But that's a whole different story. For now, what we've, we've dealt with the problem of going from Excel to JSON. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a trick or two, and I hope to see you around the net. All right? Thanks again for watching, and bye-bye.